lovely hat I found should do Mrs. Cleo very well. And, oh no, I dropped it. Hmm. What's that peeking under the tablecloth? Jane, what are you doing? And who am I? Who's this? Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! My dear! My dear! Hi! Oh! Oh! I must call. I must call Monsieur Poirot. Bon. Ha <laughs> ha Bon. Uh, what's the on for all? What is it, Hastings? Well, there has been a murder in the wild. Murders on my special turn. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. that is very good. I mean, not good, <laughs> but not good as in like, it, it's not good that someone died, but it's good for the business. Let's go. Well, well. <laughs> Here we are at the face of the crime scene. Well, hello, Mozo. This is House Third Crap. Welcome, we present you. Thank you for the warm welcome, Mo. Now, where is the cr Oh, there is the body. Is dead? <laughs> yes, I think so. I have found something out. This man was killed at precisely 9.05 and 77 seconds last night. Well, I shall call every single one of these people in the house third club into their room to interrogate. Everybody into their room for interrogation. Hurry up! May we inspect the maid first? A real man? <laughs> what is going on? Anyways, please take a seat. Now, maid, what is your name? My name is Jane Vulittle. Jane Vulittle? Where were you at the scene of the crime? <laughs> Nine or seven? Last night! How is the house cleaning? When I went out into the garden for a little bit of fresh air and I was allowed by the madame. Then I found this strange hat. So I went back inside to prepare it and get out all the garden dirt for madame. But then I, but then I accidentally dropped it. I saw it under the tablecloth, so I leant down to pick it up. Then I saw the hands of the dead body. So, where you were at the scene of the crime at precisely about nine and ten minutes, ball? Eh, I was, I was at the garden collecting the hat. Ah, so, what is the dead man's name? Zeus Gorgon. Was he rich? Did he have any enemies? I did hear him argue with his daughter, though I didn't think it was that much of a deal. And also, he is very rich. At the scene of the crime, there were no footprints. Except for yours. Could you have possibly killed Monsieur Dordon? So, I was so loyal to him, I would never do such a thing to my master. Hmm. Next, for interrogation. Moi! <laughs> so, what are the questions to be asked? Who is your daughter? is Abby Vomero. Did Abby Bomnable ever say I cannot wait? Was Abby Bomnable mentioned at all in her father's will? No. 
Well, actually, she was on the wheel, but fa but she was on makeup. And her father says she was too young for the makeup and it just ruined her skin. She say it looked pretty and she may have killed him. Though I dare say my beautiful angel would have done anything like that. And he died! <laughs> please, madam, please calm down. And while you're at it, get out of my interrogation room and bring in your daughter home. <laughs> so, Miss Bumbleball, where did you ever have spats with your father? No way. I never had any arguments with my father. Except for the one time last night where he said I wore too much makeup. I do not wear that much makeup, just a bit of eyeshadow and maybe some eyeliner, maybe eyebrow pencil, and maybe lipstick. Anyways, not that much at all. Oh yes, I also wear very very defini defining mascara, but who cares? There is no way that I would kill him, even though I am the one mentioned in his will as the, as the heir to his fortune and his palace. There is no way I would want to speed up the chance of me getting all the money. <laughs> bon, 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 bon. Suspicious indeed. <sighs> what? Wait, what's going on? We are, we are doing a delegation. Oh, I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Miss Bobnable? I am an acrobat. I do stuff like rope, dancing, tightrope, you know, that stuff. My mom even had tightropes and uh, trapeze things installed around the house so I could swing it to and fro. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. You may leave, Mrs. Bumlebel. Bon. Okay. Bring it everyone in third crap house. Okay, I will do just as you say. And now no killed Mr. Gogon. <laughs> it was never a denial. What? This is impossible. Yes. You see? You are having an affair with two Scorgon. Abby is actually your child and your husband brought her home one day saying you found her at the adoption center. Then Miss Cleo Denial raised her as her own when really she is her niece. Oh my raw! Well this doesn't explain why I actually killed him. I didn't kill him anyways. Well, basically, you killed him because you wanted the best for your daughter. So, you you were actually used to be an acrobat, and you swung into the room and killed him. That's why there's no footprints, because you swung into the room on the things that they made for Abby, and you killed Mr. Gorgo. Is this right? Damn it, you've got me. Poirot solves it again. Da 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 da